Hey guys, welcome to Vancouver Island Bushcraft. I got a new knife, which is great. It is the Trailmaster from Cold Steel. How cool is that? Now, of course, you guys have all seen this one that I have. So I decked out the new one to look somewhat like it. I have the, um, this knife here is the 5880. Um, this one here, it's, it's, uh, Seaman knives. Most bushcrafters have at least one of these, I'm sure. Of course, ground down, but, um, this is going to be my secondary. Let's put that back. Oops. All right. So this is going to be my secondary. I have a, uh, ferro rod, a ferro rod, just like a ferro rod over here. And, um, I have about, um, 30 feet of, uh, paracord on here with um, some jute twine, of course, and a steel, a fire steel um, embedded in here. Uh, this is all just for emergencies. This will never be dismantled just for, um, uh, just for you know, casual use. And uh, yeah, so let's take a look at this knife. It's all still got the grease on it. I wanted to leave it exactly the way it was, but look at this. This is a very, very cool knife. It's almost identical. Here, I'll put this down. It's almost identical to the Gerber. You can see the size wise, it's almost identical. Um, the handle's a little bit shorter, but not by much. Um, the tang is a little bit smaller, um, but basically it's kind of the same knife. And I wanted to have a spare because uh, as we all know, one is none and two is one. We've all heard that expression before. So what's the stats on this? Let's see here. We have blade length, nine and a half inches. Overall length 14 and a half inches. The steel is 01 high carbon, so we're gonna have to make sure we always keep this um, oiled. Um, weight is 17 ounces, almost exactly the same weight as the other one. Blade thickness 5 16th, again exactly the same as the Gerber. And the handle is 5 inch uh, Cray X, which is the type of, um, of material. It's almost rubberized. It's, a, it's, it's actually got a pretty good grip. Um, I like this grip a little bit better because it does come out a little bit at the end and it's got a better, a better feel, but um, this is actually pretty good as well. So, so yeah, so now I have two of these knives all set up. Of course, I have the, um, the leg band on both of them so that when I sit down, I don't uh, puncture whatever it is I'm sitting on. And uh, I'm pretty impressed with this. So I'm going to be field testing this next time I go to the, um, to the bivouac or out into the woods. Um, and see how it does with batoning and I'll take it through its, uh, its uh, I'll, I'll test it basically and make sure that it's, uh, it's uh, as good as the other one because the other one's indestructible as far as I'm concerned. It's razor sharp out of the box and um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. But very excited. I just thought I'd share with you guys my new knife and of course I have to tweak them out. Uh, <laughs> it just wouldn't be, wouldn't be natural just to have a normal, uh, a normal knife uh, with the normal um, sheath without anything on it. So, uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. We're at 243 subscribers now. So, basically almost 10 subscribers since the last time I did the video two days ago with my daughter. Um, very exciting. Um, you guys keep telling everybody about this channel, and I'll just keep uh, putting out some really good stuff for you guys. Um, and I'll talk to you guys uh, next time.